up to season two on Spud Destruction. And of course, this little gun did a good job for season one, but you know what? It wasn't gonna do too good for season two. We had to up the ante. So now we switched to combustion to air powered. And that's what we have over here. As you can see, we've taken the barrel up to a four foot barrel. It's still two inch. Now as you come down the barrel, you can see that we've added a laser sight. This is an adjustable sight so we can actually get uh, fine tune our sight and get right on impact so we're not guessing anymore. Straight to the point, we get to good shots. Here we have a Hunter inch and a half sprinkler valve. This is what holds the air and releases the air. As we move down, we have our chamber. This is a three inch chamber. Now, there's always issues involved with anything combustion, no matter combustion air. You always want to be safe. So we took this air chamber and got some high density, strong rubber. We've wrapped it up just in case the PSI gets too high and it decides to explode. This rubber is going to keep everything together and safe. And that's what we want to go for on this show. We want to be safe with everybody. Now as you come around here, we have on the end, we have our wonderful pressure gauge. Right now it goes up to 160. We haven't been there yet, but hopefully we will get there and uh, go from that point. Quick release with the release valve. Simple. As we come around here, we have our relief valve. This is tapped in to uh, the modified sprinkler valve with the release trigger. As soon as you pull this, the air releases. All the air pressure built up in the air throws a projectile. Now, to learn how I did a lot of these, I went to the website uh, spudfiles.com. You may want to check them out. They'll show you how to do anything you want to know about uh, potato canning, pneumatic cannons, anything. They have it there. And I also want to give a special thanks to a few of the guys there who helped me out and uh, led me in the right way of how to do this properly. Uh, one is uh, Technician 1002. We have Mobile Chernobyl. We have Mr. Crowley. Crowley, sorry, if I get it wrong. And we have Jack Smirk, Smirking Revenge. So if I mess up your names, I'm sorry. But thank you guys. You guys helped me out in designing this. And it came out wonderful. So we hope you enjoy this canon, and here we go for our first episode of Season 2.